What happens when we try to draw, paint, visualize, build spaces that we're told are impossible? Architecture and dreams can do anything. And so there's like something I can pull out of a weird city that I can see in dreams and add to the reality of architecture in the world today. As a trans person, there's a lot of really precarious stuff happening. I'm thinking about continually doing that envisioning work in times where lots of doors are slamming shut. I've made bodies of work around circular questions that I've been stewing on. How do trans people move in the world? How do we withstand climate change? And what does that look like as a space that could be wild and joyful and lively and connected? We're thinking about this right now like it's impossible, but what if this gets built? Welcome to my cave. <laughs> what happens in Mia Wolf and what I really love is how there's so much potential for what you feel could happen next. I thought of this picture I saw as a kid. It was like a kitten in this room with geometric designs and it was being asked to walk over a sheet of glass that looked like a pit and the kitten was like, ah! And so I really was <laughs> trying to harness like deep kitten energy <laughs> in this room. I want it to feel like you could slip in any of these different directions. I mean, I got to see it all, right? The vast potential of space. I lived on a bus for a while. It just taught me so much about like becoming a responsible fucking adult. <laughs> I need like a setup so I can like make art. Climate change makes me like neurotic about certain things. I'm fine with having a bunch of like squirrely Virgo systems that only I understand. Cool thing about the desert is that because geology is so on display, like there's a real sense of geologic time in comparison to like the shit show of human time. That can like pull me back when I'm getting freaked out about how hellish the world can be. This is all these kind of patterns sort of coming together and interrupting each other and playing with each other. And so I've built a real color puzzle for myself. <laughs> and there were points where I was like, it's never going to work at this stage. I'm like, oh, it's amazing. It worked. <laughs> ka -ding. I want a space that feels multidimensional, also feels fun and joyous and like we can find these kind of other ways of moving that both are rooted in histories of places and also expansive for what the world can be.